My name is Karen Gillenwater. I'm the curator at the Carnegie Center for Art and History. And I'd like to introduce the New Albany Bicentennial Public Art Project. This is a project that was started by the Carnegie Center for Art and History and New Albany's Urban Enterprise Association. And it perfectly blends the missions of the two organizations. Ours at the Carnegie Center to interpret our history of New Albany and also to present contemporary art to our community. And then the New Albany Urban Enterprise Association's mission of helping to redevelop the downtown core of the city. The project is a multiple year project where temporary art installations by local regional artists are being installed in New Albany to interpret themes from our history. All of it leads up to the bicentennial of New Albany that will happen in 2013. The Public Art Project started in 2010 with the installation of five works of art around downtown, each one interpreting a different theme. The first, this one, is by Letitia Bahuyo, and it interprets the theme of the breweries and taverns of New Albany, and it's located here at the New Albanian Bank Street Brew House. The second one is by J. Daniel Graham, and it's located at St. Mark's Church Garden, and it interprets the early settlement of New Albany and the founding of the city. The third piece is by John King, and it's located at the River City Winery, and it tells the story of the plate glass industry in, in New Albany. And then on the side of the YMCA in, da in downtown, Valerie Sullivan Fox has a video projection about the 37 flood. The last piece is by Brad White, and it's located over on Main Street across from the Israel Boarding House, which was a key Underground Railroad site, and it interprets the story of the Underground Railroad in New Albany. Hi, my name is Brad White. I'm a Louisville sculptor. This is my, this is my piece, uh, Scars into Stars. Uh, it's all welded steel. It's all found objects, um, reclaimed, recycled material. Um, when, uh, when approaching this project, I realized that the, the slaves seeking freedom had to do most of their traveling at night. So they were looking to the North Star to guide them. And so I used that, that repetition of the, of the points of the star. And these pieces actually go into the ground and hide out and then reemerge in another place, much as they had to do in their travels. And I was looking at the sacrifices that the people in Indiana had to make to help them and what that would have meant for their freedom if they had been caught harboring these people and and just really it really was really touching how much sacrifice was made in order for this movement to happen. The public response to this project has been phenomenal. Everybody is interested in it and interested in seeing our history through the eyes of contemporary artists and what strikes them about each one of the themes. One of our goals for the project was to get people who are interested in our history to experience contemporary art and then people who are interested in contemporary art to experience some of New Albany's history. So it's had a wonderful crossover effect and people are learning new things. Um, the art is also getting brought out into the community to people who maybe wouldn't experience it otherwise. We have great exhibits that we do inside the museum, but we know that not everybody has come in before, and so we wanted to bring the art to the community and also hopefully encourage them to stop in the museum and, and enjoy the art that we offer there as well. Thank you for spending the time to watch our video and to look at the information about our project, and we hope that you enjoy it when you come to see it in person.